Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, we have a question that came in today from Jeffrey Springer of Sussex, New Jersey. And Jeff says, Hi, Don. Thank you so very much for all your video help. I know it's going to improve my game. One of my most frustrating problems is topping the ball. Swinging in my backyard, practicing and getting ready for the season, I realized I was standing up and not holding my spine angle during the forward swing. I think this is the main cause of my topping the ball. Are there other explanations? Do you have any way of practicing that, uh, practicing that can help to correct this? Okay, let's see what we can come up with, Jeff. Topping the ball. All right, so it's obvious something is either, uh, I would say one of two things could be causing it uh, of, uh, happening. Either your body is standing up, or for whatever reason, your arms are breaking down, okay? So now, what are those things, what can those two issues cause? All right, so let's start with, let's start with standing up. One of the biggest reasons that, that, that could be for standing up is, is A, maybe just in your backswing, if you're getting a little bit too much knee movement, right? We want the wide knees out with pressure, but if you're turning your knee in and, 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 and your left shoulder's going down, what we call reverse tilting, what goes down has to come up. Another thing that usually happens is if the forward knee is moving too much, you're going to see a pretty good case of, of the back leg starting to straighten, right? And, and, and so, and another thing that can also cause that, even if one, even if one keeps the forward knee kind of really firm, uh, and doesn't move it too much, keep maintaining the outward pressure, but you get into turning too much, which would mean now your shoulders and your hips turn too much. Well, as long as this back leg is, 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 is attached to your hip, if your hip starts turning too much like this, even if I'm holding the knees, but there's a good chance most of the time you're gonna, you're gonna have a little bit too much forward knee. But either way, if your back knee is straightening, that knee straightening is, is, is pulling, is going down and pushing your weight forwards. All right, and you're ahead of the ball, and so, but you're going, because the back, the leg is going up, and even if you're trying to maintain your spine, you're, at, you're very likely going to go down, all right? So, what goes up has to come down, all right? Now, that can cause a chunk just as quick as it can cause, just as quick as it can cause you to pull out of the shot, too, all right? So, let's say, let's say you do go forward, and then as you come up, you come up completely, even with your arm straightening out, you could come up enough where you're going to top it. On the other side of the coin, if, you, if your arms straighten and, and uh, you, you do this movement and you come down and your arms straighten, you could top it really good. Or you could do, what could happen is after you've done the tops, you could come down and your brain starts to figure out, well, I can't straighten my arms out, I got to do this a little bit because I've, I've, I maybe stayed there a little bit too long. So either way, the odds are that, that you've got, you got something changing in your spine angle, very likely forward to backwards, or you could be, if you're aiming right, and you get into a reverse tilt, which means, if say the camera's my target, this would be proper alignment with my, my body's parallel left. But if I'm out here, and now I gotta hit the ball, and I gotta come this way to, to clear the ball, look what's happening. I'm going like this, my back leg is, uh, as it starts to move in, the forward leg, the front leg starts to do what? Has to turn out of the way, which starts straightening it, and guess what is that doing? That's lifting me up. So, over the top because of bad alignment, or just playing over the top because because you're turning too much, we'll have your body standing up. So the key is is that there's a multitude of issues here. Uh, in some cases, I've actually seen it where a the clubs could be a little bit too long, and so you 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 think you've had to figure out you gotta you have to come up. I see this a lot in ladies. A lot of ladies that, especially today, are playing with clubs way too long. And historically, it's always been that that if a female, a, a young lady to a uh, an adult lady uh, is uh, very athletic, makes a really good swing. They say, "Up, oh, you need men's clubs." So now they got them in clubs that, in many cases, are too long for them and too heavy. So what happens on the way down? And you can still see this a lot on the LPGA tour. Just go look any day. You're going to see a lot of young ladies, a lot of the pros out there come when they hit the ball, they come up on their toes because they're making a good swing, they're extending their arms out of impact, but their clubs are too long. They're also they also have to put extra. You see, and they really have to. To, to put an energy to get that club, because most of them will be going to parallel, to pull it back up before it comes down, and and they have and they have to get up on their tiptoes to hit it. Well, it doesn't take much. Doesn't take much to just miss hitting the ball really good. Hit it, it just stay. You don't come up fast enough. You, you chub it a little bit. Or bounce off the ground. You come up too fast. You can start hitting it thin to topping it. So the odds are somehow your spine is moving around. And normally the biggest culprit for that is a alignment because you've got to come over the top to hit it and, and you're clearing out the forward leg straight, straightens or you're aiming to the right 
and you start to reverse weight shift to, to get your body out of the way and, and, and that's still the forward leg straight, you can push him backwards, that's another way of topping. But again, all of these can also chub now and then. And then, and then if you just have it standing here and, you're, and, you're, and, you, and you're, your legs are not staying level, your knees. Knees are levels and stabilizers. So you gotta get in there where you make a good, good solid address position, good balance, good posture. Get there and you maintain your spine and you make sure that, that your knees stay level. One of the best things to do is practice with the shadow in front of you. Just right here. And if you see your spine moving forward or backwards, up or down, in the takeaway at the top, and then and then especially as you start down, you know you're moving. You be you have to be able to stand here and hit swing that club, which is and the club doesn't move until after impact and it stands up. Okay, so we want the head very still. So wide knees out with pressure, maintain your spine, bingo. You'll be hitting a more solid straight consistently because you've maintained your angles. And this is the the two big ones to look at, your knees and your spine. But figure out what it is and 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 we give you enough thoughts to, to check it out. And I guarantee you, I'm pretty sure you'll find the answer is somewhere in those points we point, I just pointed out today. All right. Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking with you all again soon.